Yo, what is up everybody? It is Dithy, or Noel, coming at you with today's video. Uh, very fucking recent video, so, like, it's a very, very recent life story here, and, uh, before we get into it, I just want to say, um, well, I don't know if I'm really thanking you guys for this, but we just hit 25 uploads. I know because, um, YouTube gave me an email about it, I got an email about it, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. Got this, like, cool little certificate thing. It's, it's not that much, but you know what? I appreciate the little things, okay? But, uh, anyway, let's get right into this story. It's gonna be a slightly longer one, because I got some comments saying that they liked the longer stories, so, you know, we'll, we'll roll with that. Now, let's get into this. So, this takes place last Friday. Now, last Friday, um, the previous week to last Friday, me and a couple of friends had been planning a get-together to get together and absolutely just get wasted drunk. And we had one friend... We'll name him Derek, who we planned on doing this at, like whose house we planned on doing it at. And we had another friend, Stacy, we'll call her. And uh, I guess that previous week, we'd just been planning it out. We were like, okay, uh, who's bringing what? And we basically just arranged who was going to bring what, how much they were going to bring of it, and things like that. And um, that after that, after when Friday came, it was probably about... 10 o'clock, I'd probably just finished school, my online school, and I decided to head over there early. I probably hung out with uh, Derek for probably 5, 10 minutes-ish before Stacy finally arrived. And once uh, she did, we immediately, or before she even got there, we started getting up to shenanigans, just having a couple beers each, uh, typical high schooler things. <laughs> and then uh, basically uh, she arrived five, ten minutes later, and then we just started going ultra hard. We started making lots of very alcoholic mixed drinks where it was very strong. And then uh, my one friend Derek had, like, this Bluetooth speaker that we I hooked up my phone to, and I was playing just some good, nice party kind of music through. Really nice speaker, nice and loud, too. And after a while of just sitting upstairs and drinking, we decided to go into the basement and we go down into the basement, we're playing air hockey and things like that, and just kind of hanging out. And then uh, after a bit of air hockey, we get bored of air hockey. And we decide, okay, uh, let's do beer pong. Uh, it's not even a party and we're doing beer pong, but we decided to do it on the air hockey table. Hindsight, that was an awful idea. Could have fucking ruined the air hockey table or started a fucking fire because of the fact the liquid's going to leak down in there and short circuit shit. But regardless, uh, after we finish our small game of beer pong, which I never got to play, I was just taking drinks when they didn't want to. After we finished that, um, we kind of got bored for a bit. And we were all you know, like, or me and Stacy were incredibly tipsy at that point. We started just like fucking running into walls, falling over, being stupid, just typical drunk person shit. You guys know what I mean. And basically, that's... Uh, that was like basically the uh near the end of the good times of this of this story. What I mean by that is after that we just kind of messed around for a while and then something really weird happened that no one saw coming at all. Basically, I don't know what it was, but Stacy started getting super depressed and we we're like, What the fuck is going on? And we didn't understand it and she was getting really depressed and like loud and crazy. So we're like, okay, maybe she shouldn't have any more alcohol because she's already threw up once. She threw up once, but we, she just continued drinking and partying. And for a while there, I was just kind of being a maniac with her and doing it until I realized, okay, something is seriously wrong. She's trying to get, like, she's drinking way too much. She already threw up. She shouldn't be going any harder than this because, like, we only had a certain amount of time before Derek's parents came back home and we were trying to all be kind of sober and gone before, like, his parents got home and had everything cleaned up by then. So we're like, okay, we gotta stop her. And then, basically, for the next three and a half, four hours, we were basically just trying to calm her down and, like, sober her up, getting her water, all sorts of stuff. But it was weird. Nothing was working. And she was being belligerent, delirious, the whole thing you could think of. At one point, she locked herself in the in the bathroom with her back against the door because she stole beer, and we were trying to stop her from doing that. Uh, one, because we'd already taken two, and we didn't want to take any more for the risk that it would cause suspicion uh, on her 
on Derek's parents' part. And we knew we were kind of fucked on that front. And then she put her back up against the door and was drinking the beer in the bathroom, or trying to, and she ended up breaking the fucking cabinet under the sink. And while I was like, dude, you got to keep entertained for a minute, and I basically went and grabbed longer screws and fixed it best I could to where it was kind of hard to tell that anything had happened. And I fixed it. And then just even more her slapping waters, throwing them on the ground, being belligerent, being ridiculous, being delirious, everything you can imagine. And basically just me trying to clean up and be like, okay, dude, I have to make sure that like nothing is is out and things like that. And I really wasn't thinking about the beers being all being gone that much, but I was just like trying to keep things clean so that if her, his parents did come home, it'd be fine. And when I started getting worried when he was like, okay, I'll just wait for my mom to get home. He'll drop, she'll drop her off. We'll tell her some lie. And I was like, dude, I don't like the idea of that, but, uh, okay, I'll go with it. And then I started deciding to go with his plan, which was that. And for a while, it was just us cleaning and looking after until his mom got home. And when his mom did get home, we basically were just trying, like, last-ditch efforts until we just fully committed to lying. And when his mom got home, we basically just told her this. She took something. We don't know what's wrong with her. She's being crazy and ridiculous and just acted like we were idiots and fools and didn't know what was going on. And, like, I could already kind of tell his mom knew, but I figured, okay, let's try our luck. Maybe we'll get lucky and she, she won't be suspicious or anything. I guess luck was not on our sides that night. And basically, uh, the whole time she'd been so belligerent, we kept asking her for people, people to call to kind of calm her down and relax her. Cause she's crying and being ridiculous. And we eventually landed on one of her friends. We'll call him... Oh, fuck. What are we going to call him? Frank. We landed on Frank. And Frank was like, uh, hold, hold on just a second. I'm driving. And we basically get the idea, okay, dude, can you come pick her up and like take go take her somewhere, take care of her? Hindsight, guys, that is a terrible idea. Calling the random dude that you're drunk friend who's a girl is mentioning by name and willing being willing to let him this random dude who you don't even know come pick her up while she's drunk as shit like i'm not trying to say all dudes are bad people but you got you guys you don't know what if he'd been like really wanting to get with her and now she's super drunk and he has the perfect time to take advantage of her and then me and my friend derek would get sucked into a pit of bullshit which would be totally unfun, but just just watch out for that, guys. You just gotta watch out for your friends and stuff. Like even no matter how bad you don't want to deal with things, you never know what you could get yourself involved with. So just just be careful out there, guys. But anyway, his mom basically came home, tried talking to her, and then she started. She came up back up from the basement. And she was like, "Okay, guys, I know something is going on. I'm gonna give you three chances to tell me what's going on because I know you're hiding something." Because we'd been being, I guess we'd been being weird. I was trying my hardest not to be strange or not not act like I wasn't myself. But apparently she saw through me. Saw through my bullshit, basically. And um, basically, <laughs> we we tried lying three times. And then she eventually just found enough evidence where she was like, Okay, I know exactly what's going on. Stop lying because I know what's going on. And at that point, we just cracked. We didn't, like, full on start blurting out everything that happened. We were just like, okay, we've been beaten. We know we've been beaten. And, uh, basically, after that, we, she just kind of had a talk with the two of us and told me that she'd give me until 7 to go tell my parents myself about it before she and have my parents give them the call. And what I figured was, okay, if I dial it down enough my mom and my dad might be chill about it. And I might be able to get my mom just to text her. And then she might be like, okay, he was a stand-up guy. He went and told them without me having to. And I figured, okay, maybe she'll leave me alone. Maybe I'll escape unscathed. Uh, I was fucking wrong. Uh, even though I did do the right thing and tell my parents myself, which uh, should have done that from the beginning and just told the truth. But even after that, she still came up, had a talk with him, and here's the part which really, really sucks. Uh, 
this friend is the same friend that I'd been watching those dogs for in the previous uh, uh, story time. So I was going to get paid for watching the dogs that whole week. I was going to get paid, specifically probably that day, uh, same day as this party. And um, basically when she came over, at first she gave it to me. And then my parents and all four of us, my hold on, that sounded weird. My parents, his mom, and me were all having a discussion. Eventually, my dad did a very ignorant and stupid thing. And yes, I'm calling him ignorant and stupid for this because it was ignorant and stupid. He basically was just like, oh my God, if I would have done that, I would have said that I don't deserve the money and given it back. And he basically just forced me to do it. And my friend's mom was annoyed by it. But she also understood that it was just a stupid mistake and that I just wasn't thinking about it and I messed up. And she was kept trying to tell him, I'm not paying him for what he d- did. I'm paying him for what he did last week for me. Although his c- decision today might have been bad, he still deserves the money for watching those dogs that week and taking care of them so that I don't have to worry about them. But basically, he just continued being ignorant and stupid And basically ended up making her almost into tears because he would refuse to let me keep the money. And eventually she just broke in and was like, fine. And then she just took it back. And I was like, okay. And, you know, it wasn't even the money part that was really annoying. Like, yeah, it sucks. I lost like 70 or $80. It really fucking blows because I'm broke. So that was quite a bit of money. But... It just hurt that he was being so ignorant and stupid. He legit forced her to tears. He's he's legit an idiot for that. I'm not, I'm not even ashamed to call him an idiot for that. Because it was an idiotic move. But basically, after that, uh, things kind of settled down. You know, I went and took a shower to ease my mind. And I, I just got over it that night. I get over things really quickly, guys. But it's just... Yeah, it, it's, it's unfortunate, but... Uh, I guess I learned not to be an idiot and be an alcoholic because it's not worth it. Look what it cost me. No, I'm not being literal with that. I'm just saying look at what the bullshit I had to go through with that was. But I just, I guess my my lesson was don't be an idiot. Don't go out and drink and just be stupid. You're drinking for no reason and just being an idiot. So I guess that's my, my lesson learned there. But uh, anyway, guys, it's been a long episode. Uh, if you didn't like the longer episode, I'm sorry. I just needed to tell a longer story time for this one. So, uh, if, if you didn't like it, then just fucking suck a dick, dude. Just go fuck off. But, uh, anyway, that's the whole story, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. I do this idiotic shit so you don't have to. So you don't have to learn from the bullshit that I do. And, uh, yeah, that's the whole video there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.